Uh, welcome to the market alert for Tuesday, the 24th of July 2018. So, yesterday the pound uh, fairly quiet, a uh, bit of a narrow range there, just over 50 points. Uh, market sideways, uh, school holes now in force. So, we're seeing uh, the market being fairly quiet as uh, I mentioned last week. You can see the market trading up there to the 131.50 before coming back and eventually moving lower just over 50 pips there so quite uh, a quiet market there at the moment and then just overnight you see the markets broke the 200 average and it's just sitting quietly at the moment waiting for news so not a lot to report there and speaking of news uh, no high impact news items today either so again, we could see uh, the market being fairly quiet and that's uh, par for the course uh, this time of the year. Uh, the Dow, uh, similar as well. Uh, you can see that the uh, range for the Dow yesterday was uh, only, drum roll, 97 points there. So again, you can see it trading between the uh, 50 point range uh, then it just breaks out hits the Friday close and then is back down so uh, a sign of uh, things being quiet in the main part of the session but overnight we just move forward here you can see a market getting back above the 200 bar average and trading up 100 points so a bit of activity on the overnight the Asian markets here um, but uh, not during the main part of the session which is uh, slightly odd so obviously news moving the market there which you can see in the daily chart and what I would be inclined to do here is actually put in uh, a 76% uh, retracement so we'll just get rid of this and uh, we'll come to the high down to the low and you can see the market's already trading uh, towards this uh, figure now if the market takes this out then we want to see prices trade up to uh, 25,225 and it's quite possible and probable the market will do this given that uh, there isn't going to be too many people around uh, the first two weeks of the summer holes tend to be uh, the quietest and that's what we're seeing so the market's free to continue to move up on uh, low volume here and then finally in uh, Bitcoin this uh, also uh, moving up uh, in the uh, uh, the night session uh, taking out the 7798 at the moment the next target is 8610 but first it's got to breach the 8000 currently at uh, 7950 for this market and if you have a look here you'll see the market uh, breaking out on the night there and again uh, not unlike the Dow yesterday the the main part of the session uh, was just uh, sideways you can see there just in a very narrow range uh, for yesterday um, let's have a look just get an idea we've got uh, the high and that's going to be the low of just 191 dollars so very quiet and then all of a sudden something comes out overnight and we see the market uh, put in uh, 350 uh, dollar move there so far but uh, going back to the daily charts uh, there's really nothing to drive this market back to these levels you can't stop it from doing it but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it gets to uh, 8000 and then we've got uh, say the 8600 level and maybe we get back to uh, 10,000 which will be obviously a 50% retracement off the uh, all-time high here which uh, we had uh, sitting at 20,060 so it'll be interesting to see how the market uh, fares should it put on another couple of thousand before uh, it starts uh, a retracement again back to the downside so interesting times as far as uh, this one's concerned see what it uh, does it's again i'll say it, it seems a bit too quick to uh, return back to the upside however this is a new currency a new market so it's always a bit more difficult and challenging to call unlike uh, the other markets that have been uh, in existence for you know 100 years plus so it's new and and is driven obviously by uh, different influences to the the main uh, systems with it being uh, a completely different uh, type of instrument so we'll just have to wait and see but that's how the market would work normally following a bubble but uh, who knows uh, we live in a strange and mad world at, at the moment 
Right, that will uh, do it for this one. It's short and brief, but like I say, we're into the first couple of weeks of uh, the vacation season and six weeks holes here in the UK for uh, a lot of people. It tends to be the time that they uh, have uh, time off with their families. So let's see what happens. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. As ever, if there's anything to report, I will let you know. Other than that, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.